Relentless rain has been the theme for the last four days. So it was nice to see a little bit of sunshine, the rainbows last night, and it was nice to see some blue sky come out this afternoon. We are not out of the wet woods just yet, and clearly what we've seen over the last couple days is some spots have seen significant rainfall totals just too manageable that's led to flooding and others have been able to handle the rainfall. We will continue this trend of these localized heavy downpours that may aggravate flooding in some spots, but not all spots. So the key thing that you can do is just be really careful. If you know that you're one of the one of the areas that's seen six to 10 inches of rain over the last four days, or you live near a stream or creek that can swell quickly, let's be careful around it tomorrow morning because we'll have more heavy rain overnight tonight. Blue sky downtown looks phenomenal right now. Low 80s, it's going to feel like a heat wave compared to where we're going. The cold front that's coming is potent. It is going to squeeze out the last bit of moisture and on the back side of it, it's drier, it's cooler and it's much more comfortable literally will smell like cinnamon as this thing scoots through overnight tonight. We've got a couple showers and storms across the mid state right now. This is not the front. This is activity that has developed ahead of the front. So we'll start from the east. We've got scattered showers and storms across parts of Jackson County uh, over towards parts of Fentress County as well. This stretches down. Again, not severe, but some heavy downpours and of course a couple rumbles of thunder. Also a couple rumbles in the southern portions of Cheatham County. This is parked right on top of I-40. So if you're coming out of uh, Davidson County or coming into Davidson County, that's going to be a rough stretch right there. They don't have to be large to be efficient rainmakers. We've seen a lot of that. Showers and storms starting to blossom a bit across parts of Henry County. We'll continue to see this uh, intensify over the next couple hours. And then once that activity reaches Interstate 65, it should actually start to quiet down. Let me show it to you. So the activity ahead of the front blossoms a bit for our western tier. Then, like I said, we get past sunset, loses its fuel. It's after midnight, closer to one or two o'clock in the morning that the front is gonna come in from the west. This is your final push of heavy rain and it will happen in the overnights. So that means you may wake up to flooding that wasn't there when you went to sleep. That's why it's important to stay weather aware. This will scoot through that front by about nine, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, but clouds and even some showers are just gonna be stubborn. They're gonna wrap around the backside of this. So Wednesday will have a gloomy feel to it and it will be noticeably cooler. Tonight we're going to drop down to 60 and then tomorrow barely climb to 68. Talk about a dramatic change. Fall officially starts at 2:21 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. It's going to feel like it. Northwest winds will gust up to 20 to 25 miles per hour tomorrow. That will help scour out the moisture by late day Wednesday. And then finally look at that long stretch of sunshine. Sunshine, low 70s, lows in the morning, or even going to dip down into the 40s to end our work week.